We would like to welcome you today to Follow the Star. And we're going to start out with singing the theme song. Follow the star to Bethlehem, play the wonderful Christmas story. Follow the star to Bethlehem, let the carols ring. Follow the star to Bethlehem, and tell the world of God's glory. Follow the star to Bethlehem, tell the world of His glory. Follow the star to Bethlehem. Give your heart to the King of Kings. Story of wise men and shepherds and kings, a hailed in chorus of angels who sing. A star shining bright on that wonderful night, a promise of God's everlasting light. Follow the star to Bethlehem. Hear the wonderful Christmas story. Follow the star to Bethlehem. Let the carols ring. Follow the star to Bethlehem. Let the carols ring. Follow the star to Bethlehem. And, and tell the world of its glory. Follow the star to Bethlehem. Bring your heart to the King of Kings. A story of worship, a story of praise, a heavenly child in a manger of hay, bringing the world salvation that night. He's a promise of God's everlasting light. Follow the star to Bethlehem. Follow the star to Jesus. Follow the star to Bethlehem. Let the carols ring. Follow the star to Bethlehem. Follow the star to Jesus. Follow the star to Bethlehem. Bring your heart to the King of Kings. Bring your heart to the King of Kings. Bring your heart to the King of Kings. Of kings. Now we will hear from our narrators. And they will tell you what happens in scene one, our scene one narrators. Wise men who lived in the east saw a new star in the sky. They knew this meant a, a king, a very important king had been born, and they wanted to worship him. So they traveled for many miles following the star. They stopped in Jerusalem to visit King Herod and find out more about the newborn king. King Herod consulted with the chief priest and told the wise men to go to Bethlehem because the prophet Micah had written ten years before that Bethlehem would be the birthplace of a great ruler. King Herod told the wise men to let him know when they found the baby. He claimed he wanted to worship him too, so the wise men continued their long journey by heading out toward Bethlehem. Now we're going to scene one. All right for King Herod the Magnificent, King Herod the Awesome, King Herod the Amazing, King Herod the Brilliant, King Herod the... Also King Herod the Busy. What is this meeting about? Your greatness, you... Your greatness, you wanted to meet with the three magi who arrived in Jerusalem yesterday. They are here. Your brightness, they came with a large caravan and have been asking a lot of questions about the star they've been following. Oh yes, I remember now. They think a new king has been born. That's just ridiculous. Nothing gets past me. Everyone knows that I would be the first, first to hear about something that important. Well, actually... Unless there's something you haven't told me. Would you like to tell him? No, I think you should tell him. No, really, I think you have the better verbal skills. Oh, stop it. Just give me the news. 
Well, Your Excellency, it seems there's a prophecy. It has been written by the prophet Micah, Bethlehem in the land of Judah. From you shall come a ruler who will govern my people Israel, whose going forth and living have been from old, from everlasting. Israel, there's only one king of Israel and you're looking at him. No one is going to take my throne. I know, we'll tell these magi to go to Bethlehem. When they tell me where the child is, I'll be able to get rid of the threat for good. Call them in now, but don't let them know we've talked. It's our little secret. Bum, bum, ba -da -bum, bum, 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 Hiri, hiri, mountain, Malkir, Balthazar, and Gaspar, the magi from thee. Hey, Harry, we've been traveling many months following a star. The signs in heaven say the king has been born. We have followed the star to Jerusalem with gifts for the new king. We thought you might know where we can find him. Well, of course I know. Why wouldn't I? Since I'm the king, I'm always the first to know everything. This king is to be born in Bethlehem, in the land of Judah. Bethlehem is not far from here. We will leave at once. Yes, go, look everywhere. But listen, you must let me know as soon as you find this new king so that I may worship him too. I certainly don't want to miss this. Something about this king, that king bothers me. I don't trust him. I agree. I don't think his intentions are good. My friends, God will show us what to do. Hera may be king, but we are journeying a long way, and soon we'll, we will meet the king of all kings. Now we will hear We Three Kings sung by our... We three kings of Orient are burying a travel of far fields and plant and moor and mountain, following on the stars. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever sees he never over us all to reign. Oh, oh star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright. Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Frankincense to offer have I, incense owns a deity high. Prayer and praising, all men raising, worshiping God most high. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, Star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light, guide us to thy perfect light. Myrrh is mine, it's bitter perfume, breeds of life of gathering gloom, soaring, sighing, bleeding, dying, still in a soul cold tomb. Oh, oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. All right. Now we are going to go to the narration for that comes before scene two. So we'll go back to our narrators to see what happens in the next part. This, the star that we're following led them to Bethlehem. Finally, it stopped moving and stood still over a house. When the wise men saw that the star had stopped, they were full of joy and expectation. They knew the king must be inside. In the house, they found a child Jesus with his mother Mary. They had followed the star and found the light of the world. 
Now we'll go to scene two. Fast boy, Miller boy, look! The star has stopped moving. And it's shining on that small house. Do you think that is where we will find the child? Come, my friends, we must be close. Yes. Forgive us, so our caravan has been traveling for many months, following a star in the sky. The star has stopped here over your home. The star has been leading us to a child, one who has been sent by God to be a great king. Would you know where we can find him? Yes, I am Joseph, and this is my wife. Okay, Malkiar, ask your question. What is his name? His name is Jesus. We have come such a long way to find him and to honor him with our worship. He is so peaceful. And the, the, the light that shines from the star outside seems to have come into rest on this child. On the night that Jesus was born, that same star was shining over his manger. His manger? Yes, we have come to Bethlehem for the census. And there are no rooms left. And the innkeeper offered us a stable. And Gaspar says, A humble birth for such a king. It was one that only his father could have planned. And now we have a song out of Bethlehem Sky. They traveled so far from the home that they knew to come to Bethlehem. Joseph and Mary had a baby to be born, and there was no room at the inn. But God had a place for the birth of his son, a place for the baby to lay. And the Lamb of God was born in a stable filled with straw and hay. Glory to God in the highest. The Savior is here, Emmanuel's come. Glory to God in the highest. Jesus is here bringing peace to all men. God's gift for everyone. Good job. Now we are going to hear the narration for scene three. And there are shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. At, at the sight of Jesus, the wise men bowed down and worshipped. They opened their treasures and presented him with gifts. Gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh. In that humble house, they bowed in worship and adjuration. Now we will tell you scene three. Starting with Mary. Jesus may not have been born in a palace, but all of heaven celebrated his arrival. The stars declared his glory, and a multitude of angels sang a song of praise. We also want to honor him. We have brought gifts for the new king. Precious gifts of great value and meaning. First, I bring you pure gold, a symbol of strength and power. Gold is reserved for royalty, truly a gift for a king. All of creation will bow before you, for you are not the only king of all nations. You are the king of all kings. Uh, 
and I bring you my gift of sweet smelling frankincense and the incense of great value. Frankincense is burned at the altar to re represent the praise of the people. Frankincense also has healing powers, a perfect gift for one who will bring great healing to his people. And is the sweet fragrance to worship that I bring to you. And finally, I bring oil of myrrh to ointment you. It may seem an odd gift for one so young, but I give it to you as a sign for your humanity, for you are both son of man and son of God. Our gifts are great work, but now we know there's more to give than these that we lay at your feet. Tiny King, we humbly bow before you and honor you as the King of our hearts. Now we have another song a solo, Adore Him. Countless days on a journey that led so far. Endless nights they traveled to follow the star. They did not find a palace, just a humble village home. And searching for a king, but finding a child, no crown or throne. Still they bow down, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Expectation turn to mystery. For nothing was like anything they dreamed. Anticipating the royal and those honored by this world. Instead, they gaze in the awestruck eyes of a lowly peasant girl. Holding her child, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Thank you. And now we're going to go to the very last narration before our last scene. Wise men followed the star and traveled a long way, bringing great gifts to Jesus. But their precious gifts could not compare with God's gift of Jesus to the world. God sent his son and gave us the gift of his love. Rejoice, joy to the world, our savior is here. Now, scene four. Jesus has changed our hearts forever. He's the one we have waited for, and him is a promise for all nations. Now we must return to our countries to tell everyone what we have seen here. But we will not be returning the way we came. What do you mean? Last night, Gaspar had a dream. God gave me a dream to warn us. Here's intentions towards this child are not good. He's planning something terrible. We cannot tell him where Jesus is. You go home another way, gather the caravan. We've been given good news and great joy to deliver to our people. The light of God's love has come to all men. Hooray, hallelujah. Hooray. 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 Hello. Amen. Hooray. Shout, in to, shout to the nations that Jesus Christ is here. God sent his son and given us the gift of love. Rejoice for Emmanuel has come. Jesus well, is the king of all kings. In the world of Irish, the project unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and the government 
will be on his shoulders and his name shall be called the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Yay! Now, we have a finale song, and this song is the carol medley, and we're going to give you a little sample of what it would sound like if you could hear uh, the students all together. So, I'm going to uh, share my screen and let you see... The Carol Medley. And then, yes, you'll get to hear them all together. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth redeem her King. Let every heart prepare new room. In heaven and nature sing, in heaven and nature sing. going to uh, put it in gallery view for the recording and could we have our actors and actresses take a bow and if you want to unmute if anybody wants to unmute and clap that would be great comment. Hey, good job